Hey folks, we're uh, out on this lake here. It's November 25th or 26th. I'm doing some beaver trapping here in Minnesota. My truck is up there. There's a beaver lodge right over there in the rushes, okay? Now what I'm gonna do today here is I'm gonna show you how to, how to find and locate runs. So we got a beaver house over there. And if you'll notice over here, there's a really high bank. Big beaver like to den up in the bank. You know, they live they live in the house, but they also um, tend to have a run, you know, up in the shoreline someplace if, if it's uh, if possible. Um, and along the, what you want to look for is an indentation along the weeds, you know, where they actually have not been cutting maybe, or even even if they've been cutting. Um, there's a high bank right here. Um, it's all re it's all reeds, you know, and there's there's about five inches of ice on the lake currently. So if you just listen, ice is pretty safe, pretty hard sounding. But once you get near a run or over a run, the ice almost disappears. I mean, it's really thin, and there's no other ice there. Now listen. Hear that? Getting getting thinner and thinner. Hear that? There's a hollow noise there. Now following this down. Look at how thin that ice is, folks. One one chop. The chisel goes through. Okay. So I know someplace up in here there's a bank then. And what I'll do is I'll tap here. Uh, feel the bottom, it's all kind of muddy there. Oh, look at it, right here. Right here, there is no ice. See that at all? Oh, I just heard a beaver come out of the bank too. Okay, and then we look at how deep that is. And that bottom is rock hard. So they definitely have a run up in the shoreline here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow it up right. Oh, Hear that? There, there we go. There's the center of that bank run, and it's maybe a foot and a half deep. So that's how you locate bank runs. Um, I'm just gonna take a few minutes here. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna walk over to the house. I haven't been over to the house yet. For any runs, we'll walk. We'll walk over there quick and try to find a couple of runs. Sorry about the wind. It's been a kind of a chilly, windy day here. Ooh. I got a bare hand going. You, you always want to be careful around uh, beaver houses too. You know, the ice is always, you know, really thin in some areas where they're entering and exiting the beaver house, house is where they're thin at. There could be another bank then back here in this high bank too. I'm going to check that out, but my uh, battery's dying on my phone. Yeah, there definitely could be one back there, but we're going to walk over to the house quick. It's just a small house, this one. Small feed pile in front of it too. Here, that there actually is a run. See that? <laughs> There's a run right there, and a deep run at that. One little chop is all it takes. So you got to be very, very cautious around a beaver house. I can't stress that enough. Um, yeah beans so that's how you find uh bank ends and, and house runs you walk around the house tap the chisel kind of hollow sounding here a little bit but you can see here that the ice is well over four inches thick and once again i'm getting back over where the bank or where the house run is at one little chop all the way through so 